They say it takes six weeks to break a habit. Or I guess you could say it takes six weeks to make a new habit. If you can just get through that time, that period, things can get easier and it won't feel so real anymore. It would just feel like a distant memory. I didn't trust my heart. I started writing trust a while before I finished it, it started out, I was talking about my friend who was too afraid to lend her heart to a boy. And so I was like, she doesn't trust her heart. And the person I was talking to was like, that would be a really good song lyric, you should write a song about that. So the next morning I started to write a song and I only got through like one verse and I couldn't figure out the rest of it. And I had the melody, but I didn't have like a chorus or anything, but then eventually that person ended up breaking my heart and I just sat down on the piano and it just flowed out. It's probably one of my most favorite songs I've ever written and the lyrics are so real and I've never written anything as truthful before. For Trust, recording that song in particular in the studio, we used a different method and I was really excited to do it. We were lucky enough to be in a studio that had a piano. so. My producer went in, Dayon, and he just laid down the piano track. After that, I went in and I, instead of doing many takes of different sections of the song, we just recorded the song in its entirety, each take. And then the next day we had Adam, a guitarist, come in, and he was super talented. And we had him lay down the guitar tracks um, in the studio with snare, and it sounds so good. I've been wanting to use guitar like that since I've started listening to Mazzy Star, so I was really excited for that. And he was so talented, like everyone in the studio was silent. You could hear a pin drop and everyone was just staring at this this little blonde guy sitting in the corner playing guitar, like mesmerized by him. It like I almost wanted to cry. It was like something about it was just like a really magical moment. All the instruments were live, everything was a full take, and it was really special. Hush little baby, don't you cry. Hush little baby, don't you cry. I'm really excited for this album because it wasn't planned. And when I was writing the songs, I didn't write them with the intention of putting them in an album. And everything tells a story of a time that I went through. And so I'm really excited to be able to communicate that with people and have people connect with it. I feel like my writing's gotten better and my skills and it's just more honest and open. and. I just want to be honest every step of the way, so this is definitely something that's going to help contribute to that. I have a good feeling about this one, so I'm hoping that maybe it goes places. I decided to name this album Habitual because I was going through a time in my life that wasn't the easiest and it was kind of difficult. I just remember someone told me a long time ago that it takes like six weeks to break a habit. And so every time I was at a low point, I was like, okay, like you just have to get through six weeks of this. And I'd be like, okay, you have three weeks left until the habit's like gonna be broken and you're gonna get used to this life that you're living and like you won't feel so sad. And so all the songs that are on the album are from that time. I have a song called Habits on the album which talks about it. So it just kind of made sense like to call it habitual and it's kind of selfish, it's kind of therapeutic, but it also has a really big message. Once you get through those six weeks, you start to break that familiarity. And I think it's easy for people to convince you to let them become a habit if they lend you that trust.